Hello. Today we are looking at uh, an iPhone 30. Actually, this is a 13 mini and it's my wife's phone. She loves it. It's a tiny one. It's the last mini iPhone that Apple released. So she doesn't want to, to give up on it. The problem with this one is that the battery is at 84%. This is not a bad battery health percentage, but taking into consideration that this is a mini and it has a small battery, uh, it barely lasts a day. So I purchased a battery from Apple through the self-service repair program, the phone should retain the battery health information. Usually with a third-party battery or any other type of battery except from Apple, you can still use the phone as usual, but uh, you cannot see what percentage the battery health is at. And uh, I really wanted for this phone to, to have that feature. Let's see how, uh, how this goes. So I also bought a couple of screen adhesives. So this should also retain the water and dust resistance. I also received a few extra screws. I also saw that Apple sells display adhesive cutters. I don't know how to use that. I guess we'll find out. What else? The battery. This also comes with some extra screws. I'm not sure what for, but we'll see if we eventually need them or not. This is the battery and this is how, uh, how it comes. Okay, first we need to close this one. And for opening up, I will use a hairdryer. Uh, I don't have a heat gun, so I'll use what I have, as well as some uh, tools from iFixit. Usually this one has pretty much everything I need. First, we need to unscrew these and then hit the screen up and then I guess I'll use this uh, suction cup. We'll see how it goes from there. Okay, the screen is free. Now uh, the battery, I guess. I'm not sure if I got it out. Okay, so this is the old one. By the way, if you want to have like some sort of discount to the battery bought from the self-service repair, you can send the old one to Apple and they will give you money back. I'm not sure exactly how it works. I have to see for myself. Okay, so here's the new one. You can see it already has the adhesive already applied to the battery. I'm not sure what this is. Some sort of bracket or something.
carefully peel the protection for the adhesive. What I like to do is first plug the battery in carefully and then place the battery in the permanent position. I'm applying some even pressure on all edges and a bit in the middle. Not too much, I don't want to damage it somehow. I'll take my Q-tip again, soak it in IPA. Let's just get rid of any evidence that I've been here. Now, uh, let's go back in reverse and put everything back together. So I would like to remove the old screen adhesive. I'm not sure I like this tool. Okay, so I've put the phone back together fully. So currently it seems like the maximum capacity is not showing. It seems like uh, based on the official Apple support page, I need to enter some diagnostic tool. So I'm gonna shut this down. So I need to press the volume up and down at the same time and then plug in the charger. Now it says to connect to the internet and proceed. Finish repair, run diagnosis. All right, finish repair. Let's see. Okay, it recognized the battery is genuine. Click continue. Now it says that I just need to restart my phone and that's pretty much it. There it is, 100% battery health. So this worked flawlessly. Now I have to say that the most annoying part was to deal with the adhesive or the screen. Other than that, it seems to just work as it should. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.